This video will show you an example score calculation for the 2024 Science Buddies Engineering Challenge. If you haven't already, you should watch the main video linked in the description of this one, which contains all the contest rules. This one is just going to show you how to calculate your score. The first thing you need to do is test your car and measure how far it goes. And again, the procedure for doing that is described in the main video linked in the description of this one. Next, you need to count all of the materials used to build your final car. So if you have other scrap materials that you didn't wind up using or materials that were used in an earlier prototype, you do not need to count those. You only count the materials used in your final design. So if we take a look at our example car here, we see that we have one sheet of cardboard, four CDs, one rubber band, one paper clip, two straws, four pencils, two used as axles, and two used as extra support on the frame here, and a bunch of tape. It's important to note that for any materials that you cut, you round up to the nearest whole number. You do not calculate a fraction or percentage of the material that you used. For example, even though I have cut this sheet of cardboard so it is no longer a complete or whole sheet, I am still going to round up to one sheet of cardboard when calculating my score. The same applies to other materials like the straws. You can see I have cut this straw into two pieces, and the total length of those two pieces is shorter than the length of a complete straw, but I'm just going to round that up to the original material, which is just one straw, so I will count two straws when calculating my score. I don't measure the length of the straw and divide that by the original length of the straw to calculate a percentage. You just round that up to one. The same also applies to the tape. You are allowed to use one roll of tape, so if you use any tape at all, you're just going to round that up to one roll. You do not need to measure the length of the tape you used and calculate a fraction. Next, we will switch over to the computer, where we have a worksheet to help you calculate your final score. Your total score is calculated using the equation 2 times the distance your car traveled in centimeters minus your total materials points. If you measured your distance in centimeters, you can just enter that number here, but if you measured in inches, you need to convert it to centimeters first by multiplying by 2.54. For our example problem, I will say that my car traveled 21 inches, so I'm going to multiply that by the conversion factor of 2.54 centimeters per inch, which gives me a result of 53.34 centimeters, so I'm going to enter that here. Next, you can use this table to calculate your total materials points. The first thing you do there is go through this column and enter the quantity of each material that you used. So for our example car, I had four CDs, zero plastic bottle caps, no paper, four wooden pencils, two straws. Remembering that even though I cut one straw, it still counts as a whole straw. I do not calculate a fraction or a decimal, so I'm entering a two there because I used two whole straws to start zero wooden skewers, one paper clip, one sheet of cardboard, again remembering that I round that up to a whole sheet even though I cut the sheet of cardboard, one rubber band, and one roll of tape. Again, I do not need to measure how much tape I used. I used some tape, so I'm just rounding that up to one complete roll. Next, you multiply the number of each material that you used by the point value for that material to calculate the subtotal for that material. So going through the table here, four CDs times two points each is eight. I did not use any bottle caps or paper, so those would both be zeros. Four times one is four for the pencils. Two times one is two for the straws. Zero for the skewers. One times one is one for the paper clips. One times 10 is a 10 for the cardboard, one times two is a two for the rubber band, and then one times five is a five for the tape. You then add up all of these subtotals in this column to get your total materials points, which for this example is 32. You are then ready to plug numbers into the final score equation. So I'm going to take my distance in centimeters, not inches, which remember is 53.34, plug that in, take my materials points, plug that in, and then solve this equation. But remember that you need to follow order of operations and multiply two by the 53.34,
before you subtract off the materials points. So I will write that out separately. Two times 53.34 is 106.68. Subtracting off the 32 then gives a final answer of 74.68 for my score. So I have a final score for this car and this distance of 74.68. I could improve this score either by making the car go farther or by using fewer materials. Remember that this is just an example score calculation for the complete contest rules and entry information. Please see the links in the video description for the full video and the written instructions on the Science Buddies website.